Hi everyone, I'm Marcus Chen. Welcome to Your Colorful Wonderland. I'll show you some coloring tips for your coloring books. Here is your wonderfully short tip. Today we are going to learn how to sharpen our pencils with an X-Acto knife instead of a pencil sharpener. Um, so these are what we're going to be using today. Here's my pencil, colored pencil with a broken lead, an X-Acto knife, uh, a regular sharpener, these are some extra blades. This particular blade is from, or these blades are from Muji. So you can see, um, here, I'll just pull it out for you. Just There's just several blades in there. And then the cool thing about, oops, sorry, I hit the camera. The cool thing about this is that you can, let me zoom in, place the empties in this section of it as well. So that was kind of cool. Um, another thing that we have is a sandpaper pad. You can get this at any art store or craft store. And an alternative to a sandpaper pad is just a regular piece of sandpaper or sheet of sandpaper. It's a very fine tooth. This one, you know, look, see, it's as fine. So cool. So these are the things that we're working with today. This debris that you see down here. This is from the uh, outtakes previous to this one. Um, this is literally the cutting room floor. So let's begin. So this is my unfortunate um, pencil, colored pencil that has had, that has a broken tip. Um, for some reason, I have a tendency to break pencils when I'm sharpening them. I don't know why. Maybe I put too much pressure when I'm actually turning it. Um, but what I've resorted to or actually found that works much better is using an X-Acto blade to sharpen my pencil. And so uh, I wanted to show you. And how I learned this, believe it or not, was from my dad. He taught my brother, sister, and I when we were really, really young. Um, I remember being about four years old, but he didn't let me do it when I was that young because obviously I was too young to use a knife, a sharp knife. Um, my dad is not an artist, he's not a designer, he worked as a janitor for many, many years. And, um, he, but he loved to draw and he loved to paint, so he taught my brother and sister and I how to do this. So the way to begin is to, because I'm right-handed, I hold the pencil in my left hand, and I have a very firm grip onto the pencil. And when I am shaving away at the wood, I literally shave away because obviously I do not want to shave towards me because I will cut myself. So really be careful, you know, so make sure the blade is away from you and take your time. Don't do too fast. And obviously, um, this is not for kids. So, um, I doubt, I'm not sure if kids would be watching this video, but if you guys are, make sure you ask your parent or someone who's skilled with an X-Acto knife to help you with that. Or, just use a pencil sharpener, that's much safer. Um, that's my disclaimer. So here we go. So hold it tightly in one hand and with your, uh, the hand that you normally use, just cut away on the outside surface of the pencil. And I'm basically just cutting along the surface of it horizontally. I'm not going too fast, right? Until the colored lead reveals itself beneath the wood. You can imagine yourself as someone who's camping and you want to eat marshmallows and so you found a stick or a branch but you need to sharpen the ends of it so that you can stab the marshmallows to roast it for some s'mores. So <laughs> that's a story that you can attach onto this process. And you'll also notice as I am sort of cutting away at the lead. I'm also rotating the lead a little by little, just like this, between my thumb and my index finger, and then doing one cut, and then one cut, and then one cut, and then one cut. So you can see, let me see if I can get there. I mean, that's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. You can also see that there's some, it's not actually smooth. There's some flat faceted edges along the tip of this pencil, but that's totally cool because what you can do is you can grab your 
sandpaper pad and then use that to sharpen the tip of your pencil. Let's get this into focus a little bit more. There. So what you do is you just gently rub it, okay, until those flat edges and corners become smooth. And you'll notice that as I rub it gently, I'm also sort of rotating it back and forth between my thumb and my index finger, okay? So it takes a bit of dexterity, but it's doable. If you don't have this sandpaper pad, you can just get a regular piece of sandpaper at a hardware store and do it in the same way, in a similar way, okay? So just very gentle, rub it until you get the kind of point that you want. It's pretty sharp. So this is the Wonderfully Short Tip. This is your colorful wonderland.wordpress.com. My name is Marcus Chen and thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye.